Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Diecast Emporium. So today we're going to take a look at the model that received the most submissions on the Diecast Emporium Instagram page. Yesterday I posted a series of three models and asked you guys, the community, to submit which of them you wanted to see reviewed the most. And the winner was this one with a resounding number of votes. And it's the Ingersoll Rand 185 compressor made in 1 to 50 scale. Now it's unclear as to who the direct manufacturer of this is but I strongly have a feeling that it's either Greg's Custom Models or Buffalo Road Imports themselves, as you can only purchase these from the ConstructionScaleModels.com website. And I will post the link to both this version of the model and the updated red version in the video's description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this nice little model. It comes in this standard, very small brown cardboard box. And once you get it open, the model is housed very nicely and some soft tissue paper, and a couple packing peanuts. Of course, everyone's favorite thing. But one thing about this is that it does seem to keep the model in great shape during transit, which is a very good thing, because as we all know, the worst thing you can possibly get is a brand new model in multiple different pieces. So we'll go ahead and see if we can adjust the lighting here and take a closer look at this thing. Hold on, Geraldo. You'll get your five minutes of shame here in a minute. So again, like I said, a very nice casting. It's mostly all die cast metal. You have your Ingersoll Rand logo here and your 185 with the blue stripe right here, which looks very nice. Also, there's a simulated hitch right here for where the side would open on the real machine. However, it's just molded into the casting. But a nice touch, if as you can just barely make out, is there is Goodyear branding wrapped on the tire itself and also some nice series of five lug nuts on the wheel. On the back, Got a nice bar here, two brake lights, and once again, very legible and very nice, your IR Ingersoll Rand logo, the older style. Up on top, you've got a nice solid exhaust here. And the other side is very similar to the first side that we took a look at, but it's worth taking a look at again. Up here, your jack stand uh, is molded into position. It's not adjustable. But the one good thing is, is the trailer hitch itself will fit on any of your DCP pickup trucks um, and probably even some of your your bigger sword trucks should you want to tow the spine, like maybe the Mac Granite um, flatbed or stake bed truck. Up on top, you have your controls here, which is a nice painted, Not it's not a graphic, it's actually painted in there. And you have your IR logo here with Spire Flow, and also just barely legible, but it is there. It says portable compressor and two airlines here. Underneath, just very simple, but that's okay because usually unless you have Geraldo driving, this is not a pose that you'd want the model posed at anyway. So although this is relatively expensive, somewhere within the $90 range, uh, I believe it's a worthwhile inclusion to your collection, especially those of you who have dioramas, because it's just it adds to that immersion factor and the realism level. So for size reference, go ahead and get uh, Geraldo out here. Hopefully get him to stand up straight. There we go. So you can see, again, a very small model, but nonetheless a very worthwhile one. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.